Tennessee would officially recognize CNN and The Washington Post as fake news and part of the media wing of the Democrat Party. It would further condemn them for denigrating our citizens and implying that they are weak-minded followers instead of people exercising their rights that our veterans paid for with blood. I'm a huge Trump supporter because I think this president's been one of the best presidents we've had in our living memory. He's got good values, but I think this is important for us to send a signal. I'm kind of shocked today. The forefathers put that First Amendment in our Constitution first for a reason, to push a political agenda using the power of the state of Tennessee. Believe it or not, there's other networks out there that I don't agree with. What gives us a right as an elected official to pick winners and losers in the media? I think that was tried in the Soviet Union. I try to switch back and forth. I might not agree with them, but sometimes if you'll listen to other people, you may learn something. The press is the fourth branch of government. We will not function as an effective government if we don't have a free and independent press challenging everybody. It's entirely appropriate for this body to stand up for its Tennessee constituents that are denigrated and called morons or idiots or simpletons just because they don't share the same political view as a news network. I think there's another network that says a lot of negative things to denigrate the other 50% of our society. I hope you have the same feelings toward them, and maybe you wish to offer an amendment talking about that network, if we get to the point where if people don't agree with you, we're going to call them names and run them down, or we're going to use the power of government, then we've got a severe problem. So I hope you've got an amendment to follow that comment. If you want to bring such a bill next year, I'm happy to to debate it. Concur with your opinion regarding this particular uh, media that you've cited in the bill. I really just think it's not a proper area for the legislature to get involved. Mr. Chairman, we have four ayes, one no, two abstentions. Passes the full judiciary.